Modular gates are a great option for shipping or fitting in any size vehicle, and they're easy to assemble. Today we'll show you how to assemble modular gates straight out of the box. These gates come in a variety of options, tube style or wire filled, as well as a galvanization or a green coating. Modular gates will be 50 inches tall and they will measure three inches shorter than their indicated length to account for the hanging and latching hardware on both sides of the gate. To assemble these modular gates, you'll need a socket wrench, a 17 millimeter, as well as a 13 millimeter socket. To get started, we're gonna cut open our box and lay out all of our pieces. As you take the parts out of the box, you'll notice vertical and horizontal pieces. With the six foot gate, there's only gonna be a vertical at each end with the horizontal filling in the middle. If you have a longer modular gate, you may have additional verticals in the middle to where multiple horizontals will be linking together. Once your gate is laid out, go through your hardware and your pieces, make sure everything's accounted for, including your assembly bolts, lock washers and nuts, your hanging brackets and hanging hinges, as well as your chain latch. Now we're ready to assemble our gate. It's not a bad idea to wear a pair of gloves while you do this, just in case there's any sharp edges or burrs on the tubing. To get started, we're just gonna slide our connection together and align the slot with the square opening on the top of the tubing. So now we're gonna insert our bolt from the top of this hole. And align it so that it catches the square opening just right. Next we'll slide on our lock washer, followed by the nut and cap. So we'll continue this process, putting our bolts down through, adding our lock washers, and just getting hand tight with our nut. We'll do that at each connection on each side of the gate. Once they're all together, we'll go through with our 13 millimeter wrench and socket to tighten everything up. With our gate fully assembled, you'll notice that this side of the gate has a bracket for latching your chain. It's gonna be the chain latch side of the gate and we'll install our hinges on the opposite side. The position or height on the gate at which we install these brackets will depend on your post and where you install this hanging bolt. To secure this bracket into place, We'll slide our bolt down through the holes. And then we'll put our washer and nut on the end of those threads. We'll tighten this up with our 17 millimeter socket wrench. We're gonna repeat this process to install the lower hinge. That's how you assemble the tube gate. Next, we're gonna show you how to assemble the wire-filled modular gate. It's very much the same. We'll show you a couple differences in the process 
Largely, you're gonna assemble the main frame just like we did, and then insert the wire-filled panels. These are the parts and pieces of the hardware needed to assemble the gate. You'll notice these bolts are the same as our tube style gate, as well as the lock washers and the nut caps. These Phillips head will be used to install the wire panels to the frame tubing around the gate. And this set right here is specifically for joining the two panels together at the middle of the gate. You also have your latch chain, hinge brackets, and the lags for your hinge bolts. To assemble the wire filled modular gate, you'll need a socket wrench, a 13 and a 17 millimeter socket, crescent wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver. These are the horizontal tubes. These two have threads built into them. This will be your middle and bottom tube. This blank tube will go at the top. To get started, we'll slide our horizontals into our verticals to make the main frame of the gate. The only tubing we want to put our carriage bolts down through at this point in time is this top bar. Everything else is going to be done at a time to tie in our panels. Just like we did on the tube gate, we're going to slide our bolts in from the top, followed by a lock washer and nut. And again, we'll just leave everything hand tight for now. Same thing on this side, we're going to slide our bolt down through, lock washer and the nut cap, just hand tight. Next, we'll start inserting the wire panels onto the gate frame. One thing to note about these wire panels is there is a notch cut out of one corner. This is gonna be where your lower hinge bracket goes on the gate. It's important to locate that cut out to position the wire panels correctly. Next, we're gonna run the remaining carriage bolts through our tubing and into the frames. To make that job a little bit easier, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this gate just so you can see the hardware as it goes into place. Now we're ready to install our wire panels to the frame. We're gonna do that by running our carriage bolts up through two bottom corners and down through two top corners. And then we'll use our remaining Phillips heads to go through the slots into the built-in threads around the entire frame. We have all of our bolts started around the perimeter of our wire frames. Before we tighten them up, we want to go ahead and make this connection in the middle with a bolt. To tighten these up, we'll use our crescent wrench and our Phillips screwdriver. Put the crescent wrench right on the nut and then tighten with the Phillips. And that'll close the gap between the wire panels. Now you can use your Phillips screwdriver and your 13 millimeter socket to tighten up all the nuts and bolts around the perimeter of the wire frame. Next, we'll install our hinge bracket at the lower corner of the gate. 
This is where that cutout is important on the wire frame. This is where your hinge bracket is going to sit so that your bolt can travel all the way through. Washer and nut go on top. And we'll use our 17 millimeter wrench to tighten that into place. Next, we'll install our hinge up at the top corner of the gate. On the modular gates, this upper hinge bracket goes above your wire panels. Lastly, we can install our latch chain and it'll go at the opposite side of the gate as our hinges. We hope you found this video helpful while assembling your modular gates. Be sure to visit our website or follow us on social media for more fencing tips and how-tos.